A Muslim woman is suing Louisville Metro Corrections after the, and the city after she says she was forced to remove her hijab for a mugshot. Clara Ann Replinger was arrested last July during an immigration protest in the Hayburn Building on Broadway. Tonight's Gabber Gagadis talked with the attorneys today and tells us why they say the city violated her constitutional rights. Tonight. Well, Doug, the attorneys tell me at first Replinger was allowed to wear her headscarf when the initial mugshot was taken. But then, according to the lawsuit, four officers allegedly ordered her to retake it a second time, forcing her to remove the hijab, which they say violated her First Amendment. That constitutional rights aren't suspended, you know, just simply because someone has been arrested, especially prior to conviction. Clara Rupplinger is a Muslim. She was arrested during an ICE demonstration in July 2018 at the Hayburn Building, protesting the separation of families at the border. When booked, Rupplinger says female officers initially had her remove her headscarf for evaluation, then allowed her to put it back on for her mugshots. However, later, uh Multiple officers approached her and said, you have to take your scarf off so that we can take a picture to properly record your head dimensions. Her attorneys, Jeremiah Reese and Soha Syed, say the officers took the photo despite Rupplinger begging them not to. It's against her religion to show her hair to men who are unrelated to her, which made it even more puzzling why that photo was made public instead of the one with her hijab. There is no explanation whatsoever and has been no explanation whatsoever for why uh, they decided that um, that was the photograph that they would make publicly available. At the time, Metro Corrections booking process policy stated photographing and fingerprinting is to identify marks or other physical features. Those rules were in place since 2010. Prior to filing the lawsuit, Reese and Syed reached out to the mayor and the county's attorney office. Initially, the response was, well, we don't think we did anything. We don't think that the law was violated. Then it was, we still don't think we did anything wrong, but here are these policy changes that have been made. February 2019, the policy was updated, allowing inmates to keep a religious headwear in place during a mugshot. We want training for the officers if this policy that they have changed as of February is something that they're serious about, then they should train their officers. The attorneys are asking officials to remove Rupplinger's mugshot from open records. Now, they are also requesting the city pay damages, but have yet to determine how much. Now, we reached out to the mayor's office and Metro Corrections. Both say they will not comment on pending litigation. Tonight's Gabriel Gattigas, back to you, Doug.